Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. How are you? We do anything knitting related and today is no different. Another vlog for you guys because we like doing these and they're fun. I get to show you guys what I'm doing. Kind of like snapshot diaries. Kind of like an in interstellar when the daughter's like giving the dad kind of like diaries. Okay, you know what? Maybe that's a little bit too sad, but you know, you get the vibe. So, or like when Matt Damon was also giving like, you know, in that movie where he's like stranded alone on Mars and he's like video like diaries to people. Anyway, I have not been doing a lot of knitting. We have been, again, last week I said I joined class pass. So we've been doing like boxing, we did spin class, we did a hot yoga. Uh, I'm doing a yoga class after today as well. And so it's just... I don't know, I don't, like, it's really fun. So whenever I can get any downtime to knit, we take the opportunity. Thought to myself, what do I want to knit today? And I thought, let's pick up my mohair cardigan. I don't know if you guys remember. I started this a while ago. But it's like the most beautiful, oh, can you see it? It's the most beautiful piece. It's long sleeve, kind of cropped, kind of tight fit, kind of just the most beautiful saddle shoulder you've ever done seen. And I have been putting off doing the border bands just cause I wasn't sure how to do it. So I think I'm just gonna do it very similar to how I did my typical Thursday top. And so I'm just slowly doing, you, this literally looks like nothing. I'm slowly doing an I-cord edge cause your girl's just like a really big fan of I-cord for some reason right now. I just love, the look of it. I just feel like if you want something dainty, but you don't want to do, you know, like a double knitted border band. I find that double knitted is really nice when you're doing like thicker ones, but I currently want something that's like thin and small and dainty and lovely. So, ooh, I am lost now. Oh no, what's happening here? Ooh, and we made a mistake. I just picked out the prettiest buttons. I'm hoping they look nice. I'm afraid they might, they might be a little bit too a little bit too brown. Stop focusing on my, yeah. Can you see that? Kind of like that. And then putting them over the yellow. Can you see that? <laughs> Sorry, they're not sewn in. So I think, I think it's gonna look cute. It's crazy. Like I told myself I was going to knit summer tops and then I, I put out like two within the span of it feels like no time. So it's been really nice to kind of just take a breather with the knitting. I do have a little dilemma though. Again, if you guys saw in the previous video, have a Sunday tea by Petite Knit that I had knit in a cotton merino by Knitting for Olive. I unraveled it in the middle and we were kind of knitting from the middle upwards and I was gonna do a raglan, but I'm knitting it Oh, and you can kind of see it. Look, it kind of looks funny. I can't tell if that's just because I'm knitting it with the like noodle ramen yarn or if it's because I picked up stitches and I'm not knitting in the same direction. So someone commented on my video last and they said that maybe I could just knit top down, like start a yoke and knit until that point where I would wanna like maybe like Kitchener sew it together. So I'm contemplating that. I put a poll on my Patreon, I'm gonna wait to see what people say. I think I'm a little bit more inclined to do top down cause I love top down and I'll just frog it to where the body is and I guess I am fine with frogging the sleeves, like it's not a huge deal. Um, but then I could at least like try a saddle shoulder. I can do like, I can do a drop down shoulder cause I love that look. Uh, and I feel like it's slightly more my style versus a raglan, but I'm also curious to see me having a raglan pattern. So yeah, I, I don't know. Okay, it has been some time. Okay, I'm checking back in. <laughs> Just put in the button. So this, <laughs> That's what it looks like. Oh, should I try it on or should I block it first? I don't know. Okay. What do we think? I think I like the vibe of it again. I don't know what it is with me in these like extra little dilly dallies coming out. Of course, I'm wearing this pre-blocked. So I, it is, I do like the tightness of it, but I am, I, I don't, yeah, I think I'm gonna need these guys to be a little bit more in, but whoop, the hole is a little loose for this guy, so I think I would just tie it with some like mohair to make the buttonhole a little bit more secure. 
Um, this is the saddle shoulder. This is my first saddle shoulder, so I'm really excited about it. I think, again, the arms are short. Um, I'm hoping she will box beautifully, but this is, like, essentially this is exactly what I wanted. Like, I, like are you kidding me? Like, I, I was honestly, like, knitting this, I was afraid it wasn't gonna fit. <laughs> Because I was like, okay, this is going to be like hella negative ease. Um, but it's actually not that bad. I think what will happen is just, I think I'll block it so it covers all the way like this. And I think I'll really like it. So, okay, this is also just how it looks like open. Sorry, <laughs> I'm going to yoga, okay? I changed. Yeah, so this is just how it looks like open. But again, I'm hoping to extend the arms quite a bit when I block. Um, I do also... I do have like a bunch of leftover yarn. So like I could honestly dye up some more golden ticket, the colorway that I used for this, and maybe either make like a slipover tank, which I've seen like people do, maybe like a bralette, or I could make like a, I just can't imagine myself wearing a bralette. Uh, but I also can't imagine myself wearing a skirt that's fully mohair, but I would love to use up more, like I would love to make this guy a set too, cause I'm, you guys know I'm into sets. Oh, I love how dainty and beautiful this collar line is, like literally so cute. Oh my gosh. I'm happy to finish this guy. I don't know why I was putting it off cause this like, this button band literally took me two seconds and I finished a piece. So <gasps> let's hope I can, let's hope I can grade it. Okay, yeah, so I just blocked my mohair cardi, so I'm hoping it'll be done soon, but I wanted to do a try-on of this cami. I... I just... I wanted to make sure it, like, the fit around the neckline was exactly what I wanted. So, yeah, it's just, like, really mini straps. It's, like, the same for the back as well. I guess I could probably bring it lower currently loving it i want to maybe do it like a full top length i don't like it cropped but i think you could do it cropped and it would look really nice and just like a really basic cami so yeah let me know what you think hello hello um this i guess vlog is gonna be a two-week vlog because sometimes i just don't get enough footage and it feels weird to just post a video with like nothing in it so so over this weekend i went to work with my boyfriend so I do have some clips we worked at like a cafe and it was really nice this like um outdoor kind of vintage sale and I saw so many things I saw a yarn spinner I was so tempted to get it but it was kind of spency and and I already have an electrical one so it felt excessive to buy one just because it was wooden and I thought it was cute plus I didn't know if it worked or not so wasn't gonna risk it and then me and my friends also went to quarry rock we do it very often and there's like this thrift store by um, a church nearby me and my friends love to check it out and so the last time i went there i got like a billion sewing patterns i got like a fabric as well so i did end up getting some tings <laughs> so the first thing i got was this felted like i guess scrap pieces but they're all just like normal block i don't know I filmed like a winter gift ideas and one of the ideas because I was really obsessed was like felted like ornaments or like projects so they just it just has like a billion of these little things like this whole sheet cost me four bucks I don't know if that's like cheap or not but in my mind I was like you know what I'm supporting this church <laughs> let's just get it and I wasn't I wasn't on like the lookout to, to buy any new stuff um, so yeah, just some like really nice colors and some nice like blues and stuff. We'll see when the inspiration comes or when I feel like it. Because again, this is a fabric and it's like sewing and you have to cut it. And once you cut it, it's kind of over. So I need to get over that fear. So maybe eventually I will. And then, oh my god, I literally gasped. I was so happy I found these. It's like so random. Or I guess not really random, but... I am really into like cross stitch and embroidery and so they had like full on sets. Um, the first one I got was this, maybe I should take it out of the plastic so you can see. Got them for like two to five dollars which is so cheap for like a cross stitch. So this is what the, it's like a little home 
It's called Foxberry Cottage Crafts. It's made in Nova Scotia, Canada. It is, um, it's called the Company House which is really cool and I'd, I would love to get this framed if I actually make it. It comes with like the whole thing, like not even touched, like no one touched this. It has the mesh in it and I'm, and I'm crying. Like it makes me feel really happy that this is like Canadian owned. And I checked their website, it's so old and they're trying to sell the business and I was like, oh my gosh, should I buy you? Um, but of course, that's insane. The next one I got, it's by Sunset, I don't know, it's called sewing room treasures because who wouldn't want that it looks like this i just thought it was so cute like there's a sewing machine like a little quilt just like little trinkets in the box like are you kidding me again full set but oh my gosh someone had started it someone had started it and it makes me so sad that they only got this far <laughs> But I'm so glad I get to enjoy it. It comes with so much. Like this one really, she really outdid herself. I am kind of torn. I want to finish this, but at the same time, I kind of want to make something else. So I've been looking on Pinterest for a bunch of like, I've been looking at different cross stitch designs that I could use like on this, but just not follow the design. Um, so I've been really inspired by that, but this one's really cute. So I really do like this one. The one I really don't think I'll complete is this one. It's called, it's by Dimensions. It's called Treasured Friends. It's just like these two little bunnies. <laughs> It's called, it says, a friend is a gift to treasure always. So I don't think I'd do the bunny. I like the outside border of it. But again, not the bunny part. I really just fell in love with the color tones of this thread. And I thought it was so cheap for like $2. So I am like, I'm actually obsessed with this one. I'm pretty sure it's needlework, so it's not a, exactly cross-stitch, but it's just like a black kind of coin purse, but it's it's like this big, and you can like unbuckle the top, and it has like a little handle, and I think my dream is to make something like that, because I haven't been able to find a pattern, so I will have to kind of <laughs> finesse it myself, but I think all I need is like some wool, like a dimension that I can kind of go along with and then sew like either like a lining in the inside and then sew it to the coin purse thing. Imagine I make a pattern, but finished like one cross stitch. I have it hanging in my room here and I love that guy. And then final thing I got. Okay, my friends are honestly so confused by this purchase. Once I show you guys, you'd get it. So <laughs> it's this wooden box. Okay, I got it for $5 and it's like real wood so i really appreciated it i think this is handmade i just have a vibe that it's handmade it is just it's just like this huge wooden box and i feel like i can store all of my hand knit socks in here because i've been looking for like a chest or something to kind of put them all in and this guy is like huge enough that i feel like i can fit um a good majority i think it's perfect i don't know if the wood will really like keep the insects away but I'm happy to put lavender pouches in here and just have it like this because I don't like my current like storage situation is just is just like putting them in ziploc type Ikea um, storage bags um, and I don't like it for my knits but it's like the only way I can trust I thought it was a steal I thought this was literally such a steal
I just bind it. I just bound. I just bound off. Bind it off. Bound. Anyway, finish the top. It's about this long, which I think is perfect. I still have to block it, so it'll probably become a little bit looser, but. I am loving the silhouette. Sorry, I'm walking back and forth because I just want to make sure I can see how it looks like. Oh my god, that's cool. Also, <laughs> I've been playing. Oh my god, they just started a fire. <laughs> Literally, she started a fire and uh, she's going to die. Uh, that's so funny. I was just talking about how I've been playing Sims again. And I was like, oh, it's so fun because I can just knit while it's, um, I can just knit while they do stuff. I'm going to go solve this now. So I have been going through kind of my <laughs> whip basket. And funny enough, I have three of them, which is super lovely. But I'm just going through this first one because I am itching to kind of make, if you guys remember my cable vest, um, the first one that I had ever done. I want to remake it um, just because uh, I, I don't know if I feel like a lot of you guys have noticed that I had discontinued all of my initial patterns just because they aren't really me anymore and so I would love to kind of recreate them or <laughs> re um, design them like kind of like a 2.0 version. There are some things that I'm feeling like I want to like unravel and maybe kind of work on to create like so many ideas to add on to the collection i want to call it the croissant collection and have like the cable vest be like croissant vests and i want to make like a shirt like a top version and then i want to make a sweater version this is sweater number something maybe 16 i think she did it right after sweater number 15 but I never finished it. I just don't think I'll ever wear it. I think I tried it on and I was like, I don't know if this is me. I think I'm gonna unravel it and I wanna use charcoal either for like a slipover or also just for like a sweater. I don't know if you guys remember this top. This is the sole top by Rose Knitwear. I never ended up finishing it. I just had it kind of here. I'm thinking I can unravel this. I like, I, I was looking uh, and I found this other top that I had been working on and I feel like I should definitely start working on it like immediately. Um, it's like this marled, I've never made a marled anything, um, but the, it's just like a marled top. I was gonna make it kind of similar to the typical dress um with like eye cord edges and stuff and I wanted to make like a tank and a skirt so maybe I do that as well better I don't normally love marled but this really is the prettiest thing I've ever seen yeah I also just found this other sweater that I'd been knitting oh gosh I've been I was knitting this I was knitting like a really I wanted to make a really chunky sweater and I don't love the collar anymore. So I might redo the collar. It might just get like a big chunky sweater from it, but that's more for the fall. Anyway. <sighs> okay, new day, same sweater as always. I have a couple things I've been working on and I can't stop. So I just announced that I'm going to do a summer days collection, which is going to consist of just like tops um, named after the days of the week. So um, we already have Thursday top that I'm getting ready. Um, I have a Tuesday top and a Friday top. So I've been slowly working on this new top. It's gonna look like nothing, but I started it and when I tried it on, it looks really good on me, but it just looks like this. I was kind of going for like a square neck tank top. I'm gonna call this the Monday tee, just cause I think it's like really basic and just like your everyday kind of top that you'd wear on any sort of Monday. You cannot see, but we're just slowly working on the body. I. I'm obsessed with these folded brim edges. I just can't get enough of them. They're everything I want to do and more. I'm using two strands of Holst Coast uh, in the color Putty because I had gotten it a while ago and well, actually it was quite recent actually and I didn't know what to make with it and I just feel like 
this gray. I don't know if I love the gray on my skin tone, but I think it's a really nice classic and it's a merino cotton. We'll get some lovely wear out of this. I just don't block it because it's kind of a little, it looks a little raggedy. And then during the stream today, I redid the collar of my typical dress. So you guys know, I don't know why, but this guy is going to be the struggle of my entire life. Um, I redid the neckline and I did it with the border that I've been obsessed with. So I think it just looks way nicer than the I cord. So initially I did I cord, got rid of it. I'm doing the arm here. And I think, I think this um, knitted edge is going to look really nice. So I think it'll compel me to finish her and um, wear it because it actually looks quite nice before when I was doing the I-cord and when I was doing the ribbing it was I was like eh, I don't know I don't know but this this guy is for me I think I'm gonna do that for like everything honestly but yeah but also I knit a swatch of this it's so cute oh my gosh I really want to make like a I guess Ralph Lauren-esque inspired ribbing. It's very similar to my cabled vests and I just got a little bit of inspiration from it, but I am not kind of, I don't know if we'll start it immediately. I feel like I have just so many other things I wanna be doing, so no rush, just love the inspiration. But I also have some inspiration. Oh, I had made this marled thing a while ago and I was loving it. But now for some reason, I saw a picture on Pinterest and it was this beautiful, like essentially it's just, actually it wasn't even this, it was just a dressed, it was a dress silhouette, a white dress silhouette. And I immediately thought it would look so beautiful. This cabled pattern with like a spaghetti strap, long dress. And I immediately thought that I should do it with this cotton, this merino cotton that I have. So I'm, I'm actually thinking about unraveling this just because I feel like that idea, I'm like, so gravitating towards more. Someone help me, someone help me right now. <laughs> oh, but you can't. It's fine. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna wrap up the video. Um, I'm about to edit it, so <laughs> I always forget to do an outro. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, or push the notification bell if you wanna be notified next. And I will see you guys in the next one.